I'm gonna hoard this. Finnish supermarkets put the super in the market. <laughs> Gluten free, Kiko man. Ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, I would like to announce that today is the best day ever in Finland. Ask me why. Why is it the best day in Finland today? Because today we're going to my favorite place here in Tampere, which is... Tell me what it is. <laughs> the supermarket! Woot woot! Finnish supermarkets put the super in the market. <laughs> This is a TBC. <laughs> but I've been waiting for this all my life. No, just kidding. But since we landed, I told Yanni that I'm so like, all our previous trips, I wasn't prepared. Like, I never really thought of bringing home goods to the Philippines. And so now, I'm going there with the goal of really like bringing home stuff to Kokoro House because they have so much options. As you've seen in my previous grocery vlogs, there's just an abundance of like dairy-free, lactose-free, gluten-free options that are actually really good. Like, they don't taste like it's rubber or they don't taste like they're cheese that's pretending to be cheese. Like, literally, you don't feel like you're missing out and yet you're eating super duper clean. And that is what we're gonna do here. We are gonna buy all these amazing things that are available at the Finnish supermarket. Which branch are we going to? We are going to City Market. <laughs> what else? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever shared this with you guys before, but this is awesome. So when you enter the supermarket, they already have these. This is where you deposit all your like used bottles, plastic bottles, glass bottles, cans as well. And for this one, you actually get money back for the stuff that you put. So if you have the small bottles, it's 10 cents per bottle because there's always a deposit when you buy them from store or wherever you buy. Half a liter, 10 cents. If it's a bigger one, then 20 and 40 cents. And then if it's a can, 15 cents. Isn't that amazing, people? Isn't that amazing? Here you have all the electronics, recycle like the tubes, LED lamps, batteries, small appliances like hair dryers. You can just throw them there and then they are properly recycled. Perfect day. See, first thing you see when you enter are these beautiful healthy snacks. What do you mean? We don't get this in our supermarkets. They're all just here. First thing when you enter, you get all these superfoods vitamins mm -hmm. and there's all these different supplements for like beautiful hair skin stress relief which i need vegan raw chocolate with bananas vegan white chocolate spread i mean honestly you're not missing out when you're here and you're vegan of course we've got the classic carl faxer which is the classic souvenir pasalubong from finland and then we've come to yoni's favorite section here at the supermarket which is the healthy foods we have an entire section here where you can get to choose all your gummies and candies and Yoni and his dad usually gets like huge bag full of candies. Why is it the people of the world? I'm not lying. But also what I love about this is that we actually have a lot of gluten-free options as well. So I have tasked the hubs to get me some gluten-free stuff. So you get one of these and then you get either a bag or a cup. And Yoni decided to get a cup because he will be able to limit himself. That's what he claims. Stop it. This entire section is also for candies. And usually, if you know a Finn, then they super love their licorice. And usually, it's just the Finns who get it. Like this, like pure licorice. I can't stand it. I'd be able to eat the ones that have like a, like some sort of covering, like with chocolate or caramel, then I would be able to stand it. But anyway, they but love it pure, like licorice. Lang talaga. It's very Finnish. They also have some nuts here, nut mix. So you can also get it yourself. Nuts and some chocolates. Everything I love, quinoa, chickpea, oh but it has corn. But it's a lunch bowl mix. So you could just microwave it ready. This one has garden peas, cherry tomatoes. Love it. It's so easy to be healthy here. You guys. Gluten-free Kiko man. <laughs> Gluten-free teriyaki sauce. Yes. Oh, 2025. Ah, it's expiry. So we shall get three. Guys, gluten-free panko. Yes, please. You give me great stress. You Why? know that I don't find anything at home anyways. And then you put me to look for sauces in 
in this. <laughs> <laughs> I have found two gluten-free soy sauces. One Japanese choice, which is just based on the soybeans, 22.5%, and this one is organic soybeans, 40%. But this one has uh, organic ethanol. This one has rice. So which one do you prefer? This one has also sea salt. This has refined salt, which is not as good. So I would go for this one. I would go with your choice, sir. You want two? Two, please. And guys, I just found gluten-free sushi soy sauce by Kiko Man. You guys, I'm gonna be bringing this to all sushi restaurants from now on. When is this expiring? 2024. I think one lang is okay. I can get just one. They have a bunch of hot sauces. I think I like this one. It's chili with sea salt and lime juice already. Looks pretty nice. I'm gonna get this. Oh my gosh, they have a friend's brand of cookies and Nespresso. This is so funny. Hey, what? They also have vegan mayo. I always tell Yanni that I love finished products because they always have the nicest branding and packaging. It's always so beautifully designed. Gluten-free. I'm gonna get this one. It's a vegetarian pate. It's herbs and garlic. It's gluten-free and vegan. See, this is another beautiful packaging branding. So I'm guessing these are stocks. So they've got stock for ramen, they've got chicken stock, they've got mushroom. Maybe these are vegetables. No, these are vegetables. Isn't it beautiful? I found this super nice made in Finnish brand. So I've been looking for a chicken powder that doesn't have MSG because I feel like in the Philippines they all have MSG, no? And this one is a vegan and gluten free. This is beef powder, right? Hubsies. So it's a beef powder alternative. And then we have here also a chicken. There's also a vegetable one. Ah, I'm gonna hoard this. And then now we've come to the main aisle. So this is the gluten free alternatives. So even though we've been seeing a lot of the gluten-free stuff already scattered everywhere, they also have a dedicated aisle for gluten-free. So we matter here. So I normally go for gluten-free pasta, but the problem with that is that they're usually made of either soy or corn, which I also stay away from. Of course, my Finnish friends have come out to support me once again because they have chickpea pasta. So we're gonna get this one. And what's nice about these things are, usually in the Philippines, they're so expensive, but here, they actually aren't so expensive. Another thing I really love about Finnish groceries are their pre-marinated food. They're all super good. I'll show you my favorite. I think this is my favorite. I remember it's the one with like the herbs, the garlic, and some lime, if I remember correctly. Super fresh. They even have ready-made gluten-free pasta. So cool. This is also very traditionally Finnish. Sometimes they make this from scratch. So I don't know how to explain it. It's like bread that has some egg, I would say. These also are super traditionally Finnish. They usually add this to their salads. We always have this at home with papa and mumu. Along with these and some cottage cheese. So I'm mostly buying stuff to bring back home. But I'm running out of breakfast here because they usually eat super light breakfast and I eat really, really heavy breakfast. So I got myself some bacon. This is turkey bacon, which is so hard to find in the Philippines. And if you do find them, they're so much more expensive as well. Here, not bad. And then I also got myself, first time to see it, chicken bacon. I'm gonna try this as well. Chicken bacon. Let's see if it's good. This is my favorite cheese. Any brand actually. I'm not so sure. But this is my favorite cheese. It's like their squeaky cheese. And I love that most of their stuff, even their milk, all lactose free. I just don't know which brand the Papa and Momo buys. But I love this cheese. So good. And then I think if I remember correctly, Yoni's favorite cheese is this one. And then we've come to my favorite, vegan gluten-free cheese. If only I can bring these home. Sometimes I see this brand in healthy options, but not all the time. And it's crazy expensive back home. But here, it's very decent. But look, no matter how many options they have, they have so many different brands. I remember these were my favorite. So again, this one, I see it sometimes in healthy options. Very rare, I think, if I remember correctly. I love it because it's also soy-free, which is hard to find for dairy-free cheese. Oh, this one is my favorite, talaga, with garlic and herbs. How cute is this? And we've now come to the produce area, which you've already seen in my previous vlog. I love how they pack their produce. Everything is super fresh, super good. These tomatoes, awesome. And all at a really good price. Nani always tells me, Anna, you know, food in the Philippines, like in restaurants, they're very inexpensive, but our groceries are so much more expensive than here in Europe. And he's not the first person to tell me this. I've talked to other Europeans, and they all say the same thing. Food like meat, produce, fruits, and everything, they're so much more expensive in the Philippines, which is so surprising. But 
Look at this really cool area. You can make your own salad. And they even tell you if it's lactose free, if it's vegan. And then you get to choose your dressing, close it up, and then weigh it over there. And that's how you know how much you're gonna spend for your salad. Another thing that Yanni really misses, he always tells me, is that they have fresh juice right here in the grocery. I'm gonna show you, it's pretty cool as well. Ta da! You get to do it yourself. That's it for my grocery haul. We're about to go pay. They have an entire section of like non-food stuff as well, which I've already told you guys about. Not gonna show you anymore. But I did get something. I got this bath mat worth 10 euros. 9.99 to be exact. But it's beautiful. Now we're gonna pay. for my very, very happy grocery vlog. Thank you, Hobbs, for this opportunity. You're welcome. See you guys in the next vlog. Bye!